Tracer. Don't dance on the payload at the start of the game. This is not good. This is not good. Look at that. <laughs> the timing. And then she escapes. Oh, my Lord. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Stylosa, and this is the wonderful Overwatch coaching series, Overanalyzed, in which if you watch this, you will get much better at Overwatch, and it will sort of give you a deeper appreciation of the game, even if it's a hero that you're maybe not interested in watching, or one you don't even play. You'll get to see the way they should play, and then that'll let you let you kind of counter them, which is super good, because Overwatch is all about trying to build your Overwatch brain, your knowledge of the game, uh, sort of all of that stuff, because it's a really complicated game. Other games are a little bit more simplistic and a little bit more based on, let's say, um, raw mechanical skill whereas in overwatch you can totally outthink your enemy if you know what they're doing and that just is totally invaluable okay so today we're going to be looking at a it's a sombra player but what is interesting about this uh, they play sombra soldier and doomfish but it's a player that's going from pc to console you don't normally see that normally we see console to pc um but we're seeing pc to console in this example and what also caught my attention is this is a very good support player it's a mid to high diamond support player but is a bronze DPS player and they don't know why. So that to me is really confusing because if you're that rank diamond, you should actually kind of be fairly well versed in the way Overwatch plays. So there's got to be, I think, a lot of, well, there's going to be a lot of issues with this play. It's bronze, so there's going to be a lot. Now, guys, remember, the way we work with bronze is we don't necessarily break down the team comp. We don't go, oh, this team comp is bad or this, this piece doesn't work with that piece. The same for the enemy team. What we're looking at is the way you play and what you can do to level up your play because bronze is just about learning the basics of characters and then implementing them in games doing the right things and you'll just win more games uh, which is kind of true for most ranks but at bronze it is super true okay let's jump on board and let's just see what happens here so start of the game i think we hack the pack and then we walk out okay so we can already see like a, a massive massive like this is an incredibly massive problem we've just seen here so let's just jump right up into the sky and let's just talk about the way we should be playing sombra because um Sombra is Sombra is about routine. There's a gameplay loop with Sombra that we really need to be cognizant about and, and just almost repeat this over and over again. It's what you do with Sombra. Okay, so what you would do here, let's say you've hacked the pack here, right? Which is fine, right? But where's our translocator? We need to use the translocator. So imagine if the translocator is in the corner there. So the enemy team can't see the translocator. And we're in Viz, right? And we start the game up here in Viz. So we basically throw our translocator down. We're in Viz and we're waiting. Hacking health packs is, you know, it's good. But I wouldn't really massively prioritize that at the moment because you could do so much more here with better positioning. So imagine our translocator is here, right? So let's just put a T for translocator. And then we've got our starting position here. What we're doing is we're invisible and we're just waiting to see what comes out the enemy doors, right? Then we can decide on a target to hack. Now, looking at the enemy team, in terms of priority for hack, right? Lucio would be the lowest priority because we don't really mess Lucio up too much when we hack him. It's annoying, sure, but it's not really, it's not going to crush him. It's not going to kill him. Anna, yes, we're going to stop her using grenade. We're going to stop her using sleep um, and her ultimate, for example, but she can still pump out quite a bit of healing. So again, it's like hacking Anna, it's still good, but it's not like mega, mega good. The target here, which is absolutely crushed if you hack them, is Reinhardt because he can't do anything. Like he can't shield his team. All he can do is swing at melee range and that's going to really mess Reinhardt up. So what I'd be looking to do here is like, okay, we've got Reinhardt. I'm going to wreck this guy's day. So he's my primary target most of the time in most of these fights if the team comp remains the same. Now, looking at the other players, these two, we can mess them up. When Genji's using deflect, we can hack him. And then Genji's really screwed because if Genji's deflecting most of the time, he might be in a bit of trouble. Uh, he can't get out. He can't dash. He can't do anything. So you can just kill him. But it's really strong. Same for Tracer as well. Now, if you hack Tracer, she can't blink. She can't recall. And if Tracer gets super aggressive and blinks in, sometimes you might see a Tracer do like a double blink to try and or even a triple blink to try and get a cheeky bomb. If that comes right at you and you hack it, she can't get out. She'll be stuck and then she'll get killed. So she is, again, a nice one to get a hack on. But without a doubt, primary target is Reinhardt. And then Arissa maybe the secondary target i'd say in this because they're going to be so easily hackable over and over again for us so that's what we'd be looking to do now the other issue i've got here is you've just like this position here we're, we're here that that is we're there we're literally there under that blob and we're just firing straight into the enemy team we're saying guys i'm sombra i'm sombra yeah i'm sombra so they know they've got there's a sombra on the enemy team there's no surprise factor sure they would know fairly soon after the start of the game but you'd have been able to maybe get a cheeky hack off get a cheeky kill i mean what's this here look how low hp that is you might have been able to get a kill on that because of course sombra's passive lets you see low hp targets okay 
Uh, and I guess the other uh, thing as well I would have said is if my starting position was here and I'm looking for targets, I'm not going to stay here and hack. What I would do is I'd be moving around looking for places to go. I probably would be on the high ground here or ultimately work my way there because what I want to do is hack this Reinhardt and I'll get him from the high ground. And then we'll just, uh, the rest of our team, compile damage through and hopefully take out their front line or at least get a ton of ultimate charge. So let's jump back on board with you and let's see what the hell happens. All right, cool. So look, we're just spamming at range. Like we're not, we're not even at Sombra's effective range here. We're just going for a frontal hack. We hacked the Lucio, the lowest value target. I mean, like we're not really achieving anything. We're trying to burn barriers down with Sombra again. We're not really achieving anything. So that is a really bad use of Translocator. Translocator, we, you know, we don't want to just, like there was no need to do that. Like there was absolutely no need to do that. We should have instead had our Translocator down on that health pack now. We should have just ran up to it. Through our translocator down, we could have hacked it. Sure, go invis. Like we're not going invis. Like there's such a major oversight here. There's no invis. We should be invis now, and we should be, like, we should like here. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay. Look. Listen. 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 We're not playing sombra. We're playing sombra like McCree or soldier or some sort of like frontline hit scan. That's not how we want to play it. So look at this, right? And by the way, apologies for this little dot. I have to do this because the game is uh, like I'm sort of going in and out of the game in borderless window mode. It's a, it's can probably hopefully work out a way of fixing that in the future, but whatever. Um, okay, so basically, um, we're in here. We should have dropped our translocator down and hacked the pack. That's fine. But then we should be in biz and we should be looking to hit them on the flanks. We should be trying to get in there. Nothing stops us running around this way. Well, it, the wall stops us. Nothing stops us running around this way here to get in. Or we, even if we just in biz, you know, maybe we run around this way. Maybe we run over this way. You know, we, we do something to get ourselves in a position where we, we could literally be anywhere as Sombra, right? We could be here. We could be here. There. You know, you know, you could be anywhere. Instead, you're playing Sombra here, which is the worst position out of any position possible for Sombra to be in because number one, you're not doing effective damage. Number two, your hacks are just like, woof. they're not really achieving anything and it's luck based more than like a strategic hack. Uh, and so, yeah, it's just, it's a bit weird to watch this is. Especially if you're a, you know, a diamond level player, you should know this. You should know how frustrating it is when you get hacked with Sombra. So look, again, we're just standing on the front line. Like we're not actually doing, like we're doing no damage here. We're not charging EMP. We nearly got a hack on the Reinhardt. Now, it must be said that when Reinhardt goes for a, a fire strike, you can get a cheeky hack through. Um, but this is not, this is just not how you play Sombra. Like, you should be playing Soldier. And when I look at the list of heroes that you say you play in this game, the fact that you play Soldier kind of is telling to me of, like, you're just playing Sombra like Soldier. So just play Soldier, right? If you've got that much difficulty with Sombra. But we've only got 50% to EMP, which is, again, a bit of a problem. And so, yeah. Okay, now we go in Viz. You can, remember, you can throw your Translocator while you're in Viz. We should be throwing our Translocator and activating it just to get ourselves back into the fight quicker. Um, but here's the decision, right? What do we do now? This is the decision. What is your angle of attack? Now, without knowing what you're going to do, let me just explain what we should be trying to do. So we're in Viz. We don't have our Translocator down, which is a bit of a worry. We should have... I would have burnt my translocator just getting back to the fight, but it probably would have come back up now because it's on a relatively short cooldown. But what I would have do here, right, is I'd throw my translocator behind me, right? Then I'd look to run over here onto the high ground, right? And I'd maybe drop down onto the low ground here because what I'm doing is looking for a hack. I want this Reinhardt. I really, really want this Reinhardt. If I hack him, then they lose a lot of their tanky potential. Yeah, they're all together in a team, but they're going to lose a lot of their potential. And then we can just go, go ham on the team. Um, so let's just see what you do. I'm, I mean, I'm expecting you to just straight run at them. So we got a hack on the Reinhardt. I'm going to say it's a little bit lucky, but look how screwed he is, right? Okay. An interesting translocation into their uh, into their team. Look at what ultimate we've got available almost. So there's a lot of things wrong with that there, right? A lot of things. Let's just bring this back and let's just do it. I'll do it in real time. I won't pause. So think about what we're doing here, right? I don't like this, but okay, we get a hack on the Reinhardt. That's okay. We hack him, whatever. But think, we're almost getting close to our ulti, right? We should not be throwing Translocator there and doing that because that, this here, is what we do when we've got EMP. So if we had EMP now, we threw it in and then exploded in the sky with EMP. We wipe out the shields. We just, we, we, we destroy their uh, sound barrier. We just wreck them, right? We absolutely hammer them. Um, instead, we've Translocated in. It's all a bit like, oh my God. We, now we've got EMP. Good beat by our Lucio. We get caught in the thing. Guess we're going to go for the MP. I mean, it's fine. This should mean we secure this fight. Think about picking a target, though. We're not aggressive enough. <laughs> like, 
Uh, hold up. Why is our mercy there? Like our mercy is legit over here. It's just been put to sleep by their Anna. And we're here. And, and where are we? We're here. Like we should be the crazy aggressive one, right? We could have gone in there, secured that kill on Anna a long time ago. We do have we do know that Anna's got our ultimate as well now. But like in terms of alt tracking and stuff like that, I'm never really gonna be too I'm not really gonna prioritize that too much in bronze. Because it's just about knowing when to use your own ultimate and knowing when to get value from that. Which of course, if sound barrier is used, we want to try and counter their sound barrier with it. We know sound barrier is used, and we also know EMP will charge faster than sound barrier. And this looks a bit slow. Like I've got the speed down a little bit. Okay, so here, this is, good, this is good, but why are we not in Viz? Like, I don't understand why we're not in Viz at this point in time. Like, you should always be in Viz, right? The Sombra gameplay loop is dead simple, right? Translocator down, right? So T for translocator down, then I for in Viz, and then T again for target. And the target, you either do a D2 for damage, or you do a H2 for hack, depending on what state they're in. Normally, you're going to hack them first, because it's the surprise of Invis, Sombra, Hack, and then do damage. If they're low HP, you're just going to kill them. Just repeat this over and over and over again. Like, so Translocator down in a safe location, yeah? So Translocator goes down. I don't know why I've drawn another T, but what, that's an arrow. Translocator, for, T to S, right? Translocator to safe. Then we go Invis. And Invis, we're looking to... <laughs> this is such a bad diagram. Invis, we're looking for... Uh, we go flank, maybe, right? We don't run at them straight away, and we're looking for low HP targets. And then when we find a target... From the flank, we then decide if we're going to do damage or hack them. But normally, we hack them and then do damage, right? And then when we're getting low, we what do we do? We translocate, we all the way back. Uh, T's for target there, but you get what I'm saying, right? Translocate it down, invis, find a target, hack it or damage it. When we're getting damaged and we almost die, translocate back out. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. That is it. That's the basics of Sombra. We do that over and over again. You will be devastating, especially in this rank of the game. See, like this guy, we're going to be able to secure a kill on him? Probably not. Actually, re really well played there, but it, it's like, I'm going to give you that one. I'm just going to give you that one. It was well played, but the uh, the Anna should have done something about that, really. But you can see how devastating a hack is on a Genji. But again, we're not in Viz, and we don't have our translocator down. So we should get our translocator down and go in Viz. Yeah, so, I mean, what are we going to do? Translocate on that? Okay. In Viz? Invis, 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 invis. So it's glaringly obvious where your problems are as a somber player. You, we're not using the abilities. Just, just go invis. <clears throat> Why don't we translocate? Like, I mean, well, we're dead. But what, just watch this whole fight again, right? We actually didn't even... Yeah, you did put your translocator down. I'm, I'm losing my mind. So he translocators down. We, again, we're just spamming from range. We're not We're not at any point getting into any kind of advantageous position. We're not in Viz. We're not like like in a good position waiting here for them to do. That is really fat. What has happened there? There we go. <laughs> we're not like over here. You know what I mean? We're not... Um, uh, I've just realized I probably I probably was drawing over here, wasn't I? And it was underneath my camera. I apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, we're not in a good position here. Here's okay if we were invis, but we're right next to our diva. So a lot of fire is going to come up here and it might knock us out of invis. But we could just chill here if we're invis. We could chill there and we just wait, right? What's this Reinhardt guy going to do? Are we going to hack him? What about Genji? He's got Blade available. Well, we know that because we're in the replay view, but we've not seen Blade all game, so he must have it. Well, I'm just going to hack this Genji as soon as he blades. But I, I consider those kind of like more higher level thoughts where... What are we looking to counter with our hacks and that EMP? Because all I want you to do is just play Sombra uh, as 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 Jeff intended. <laughs> That's literally it. <laughs> and this isn't as Jeff intended. I mean, that Genji's really wanting to blade and, and we die. And I reckon we're going to lose this fight now. Yeah. So I had imagined this Genji will just like do some sort of YOLO blade into this. Good sound barrier. And actually... There's a nano blade Genji playing there, which this this is okay though. I mean, sound barrier. Yeah, I'd have invested sound barrier in that if I was Lucio, because you never really know. Like, I mean, sound barrier for a blade and a nano. Okay, so we lose this fight now, and we're basically because we're here. You may as well just charge your EMP. Okay, what are we doing? So, did we even need to? We didn't even need to hack that. Like, you could see that on the UI, the hack like that had loads of hack time left. We're not even in Viz as well. Don't EMP them. No, Sombra. 
Okay, that was a complete waste of EMP. Now, the only saving grace would be if you swap your hero. But EMP is a fight win uh, condition all of the time. Like, at bronze... Okay, now we're playing soldier. But at bronze level, if we go EMP and we EMP the... Uh, like, a, we look for a target and go, right, I'm just going to EMP this target and kill it. It'll probably work. But EMP in the whole enemy team is also, again, going to work because they're not going to be able to use their abilities. Um... I wouldn't expect you to be able to time, like, go, guys, I'm going to EMP engage, then off we go, because it, it is bronze. But as you go up through the ranks, you will be looking for EMPs and engage. Literally the best ultimate, or one of the best ultimates in the game. All right, then, so let's take a look at Soldier. Now, I think you're probably going to play a little bit better with Soldier. I don't like your target priority, though, because we're just firing into a barrier when there's so many other targets available. We really need to avoid that. And think about actually shooting targets, if you can hit them. But, so nice on, on the uh, Anna there, but again... We've just sort of run into the enemy team here. We gave up like a pretty nice overview. Like I always talk about high ground being strong. And it is on Soldier and Ash and, and McCree and Widow. Just because you've got a better view of what's going on. And so we kind of gave that position up and ran down into the low ground. Our Ash has taken a lot of damage up high ground. Probably going to die, yeah. We spent too much time firing into targets there, and I don't uh, into shields. Sorry, and that's not good enough. Like we need to be actually hitting the enemy when we can. The soldier is never going to burn through barriers. Like it's just not going to happen. In conjunction with other damage, sure. And the enemy have got a double barrier setup, so we're looking to play around this as much as possible. So right here, this is fine spamming away here because there's really nothing else to shoot at, and I don't really, you know, I'm, I'm not fussed with this. We fire away. Genji's coming with the blade. I'm a bit worried about this. Yeah, maybe take out the all. Ursaral. Okay, good. Genji Blade. Nice Diva Bomb. Nice Diva Bomb counter. We should be able to kill this Genji. Don't shoot him while he's deflecting. We can melee him, though. Melee, melee, melee. We should kill him. We should kill him. We should kill him. Go on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Uh oh. I'm not sure how he escaped there. We should have killed him. That's just a mechanical issue. That's... That's... Play the game more often. We, we just kill him anyway. Okay. Now, we've got our ult coming up. So, what would we do with this ult? Like, what would we do? Just... Like, look at what the enemy team have got, right? Can they counter your ult? That's the question I'm asking, right? With 28 seconds left, will there be another fight after this? Maybe. Probably well, there should be, but we'll see. Um, anyway, I'm going to advise you to use your tack visor. And what I'd do is I'd simply run up here and just use tack visor, and I just would blast them. I mean, we know our Ash is going to have our ultimate ready, well, have Bob ready for next fight. Uh, enemy team, like, you know, we probably wouldn't be tracking what ultimates they've got now. Um, but Tag Visor could do one of two things, right? It might get Lucio's ult, and it might get Nano. And if it does, then that really screws these guys up for the, the final fight, if they regroup for it. Anyway, I'd go up to the high ground, and I'd just Tag Visor down above them and just absolutely rain death all over them, right? Um, you could even just Tag Visor from where you are, to be honest, and just, just start pushing them back. But Reinhardt probably will absorb quite a bit of the damage, I'd imagine. Oh, he's super low, and he's dead, so... So this is fine, like, this is okay. I mean, a lot of damage came through from our team. Really nice um, Ash play as well on the high ground. So this is okay, like. Now, one of the things that... I always say this, don't I? But it's easier to be more aggressive than it is to be less aggressive. It's easier to learn to be less aggressive than it is more aggressive. Uh, one of those things. But basically, be more aggressive. And then as, as time goes on, learn to be less aggressive. So looking at this position here where you are... I actually, like, this is okay. What we could do with Soldier is run forward. We could run up to here. And we could start taking on this Genji, right? We could just start trying to do bits of damage. You could even poke from here. I'd be very wary of getting killed now, though, because this will be the last fight. But imagine if we kill this Genji, right? Let's just see what you do. You're going to back off and play it safe. Genji's going to try and get on the payload. I, I mean, there's no way the enemy team get together for this fight. But we can kill that Genji. Okay, we're not shooting in. Oh, that, that's Ash. I got confused. How did we die? <laughs> what did we do there? So we clearly overstayed our welcome there. And died to an Anna, which is an interesting one. Okay, so here, this should never... This is like winnable. How do we die here? So... You just move predictably. So you're jumping, it's predictable where you go. And you jump, and then you just walk backwards, and they just killed you. This is not good. Like... I, get back to the barrier yeah so we should be okay because our team played quite well there but we should not have died there ryan hart's in our back line <laughs> i'd be careful of ryan oh he's dead <laughs> i was like what there's a fucking ryan hart next to us okay we should be able to secure this so yeah like you're a better soldier player than sombra 
Sombra is a much more difficult hero to play though than Soldier. Soldier is just about, you know, when you talk about gameplay flows and gameplay loops, Soldier is just like, get a position where I can see the enemy and just keep shooting them. And if there's a barrier, but there's also an enemy player and I can shoot the enemy player instead of the barrier, I'm going to shoot the enemy player. That's kind of it. And you just keep going round and round and round and round. And you just get better at that, better at that and better at that. But I think you're okay with Soldier anyways. The Sombra play though was just like, you didn't really, you did nothing for your team in the, in the, the entirety of that defense on Sombra, and that's a that's a worry. Okay, so it looks like we might be going for Reaper. Although it did say Doomfist. Maybe we swapped. Yeah. So we're going for Doomfist. Now, Doomfist, obviously really good one-shot kill potential. But should we be walking out of the front door? Did I just see? Did I just see Tracer uh, dancing on the payload? <laughs> Emoting on the payload. Oh, no. What are they doing? Okay, Tracer. I think she... Hang on. Come on, Tracer. I see that she's dancing on the payload. Tracer! Don't dance on the payload at the start of the game. This is not good. This is not good. Look at that. <laughs> the timing. And then she escapes. Oh, my Lord. Anyway, you should have walked out the main door, right? That's just not clever. At least walk out the side. We did kind of go for the combo, though, which I sort of do like. Let's see what you do here, right? We're going to go for... Okay, off the cut. Okay, nice. We're going to fist, the... fist that part. Yeah. Oof, unlucky. Oh, this Genji. We kill this Genji. Okay. So think about target priority. Genji wildly out of position. See if we can get him. We should have invested more to that Genji. He's in our back line. He's out of all ideas, right? Now we kill this Reinhardt. What is he doing in our back line? Punch him. Punch the Reinhardt. Stop jumping. How have we missed him? I don't know how you've missed that Reinhardt. He's like the easiest target to punch. Be a nice kill on the Lucio. We can get it. All right. No, no. Don't go there. Don't go there. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Run away from this. Run away. <laughs> This was a cheeky fist that was... Uh, we're looking to get away from this. So, look. Go on the flank. Do do something like... You know, don't just walk into the enemy team. Uh, also, get a heal off your team. But we, we shouldn't be doing this. We should just stand with our team. They'll, they will heal us, right? They'll notice we're low, and they'll heal us. Just go in. <laughs> Literally, like, there's no coach in here. It's just go in. But we're not even... Like, we're missing people with... E e Fairly easy to hit abilities that we really shouldn't be missing. Okay, we're going to go in go in on this. Yeah. Chase her down. Excellent. Good, 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 good. So that's the first time in this game, really, you've picked a target and you've stayed on the target and finished it. That's really lucky we didn't get hit. That is, su that is super lucky, that is. What the hell? We got booped up and then we landed with the uh, seismic slam anyway. I mean, that's it's just feeding off Genji. We should have killed that Genji a little bit earlier there, but whatever. It's still feeling. We can ult this, yeah. Now, I mean, like in terms of, yeah, we just. Oh, why did we? Why did we? Why did we? Why did we not charge fist there? We had. We would have killed her with the fist. I think we're gonna kill her anyway. Okay, that's that's really weird. Like, Doom Fist is the most annoying when you've just got a singular mind and you just like. You pick a target out and you just go on it. Like, Doomfist is super tanky when he dives in. Especially when there's a bunch of targets because you can get a lot of shield. Um, you know, you're doing that. You're actually, like, the little basic Doomfist combo. Seismic slam up the court, primary fire, and then fisting away. You are doing that quite often. That isn't always the way to play Doomfist because a lot of times the fist comes down to, like, you know, it's just an experience thing of, like, is there an opportunity for a fist now? Uh, should I be fisting again, fisting away, going for a kill? All of that kind of stuff. Like, it comes with time. But if I was to rate your play... Um, on effectiveness right now. The Doomfist has been really effective. The Soldier was okay, and the Sombra was just like, we were not playing Sombra. See, this enemy Reinhardt, we just punch him. I don't know why we're not punching this guy. I just punch into that. Yeah, I just go into it. Because, like, there's nothing they can really stop us with here. Yeah, look, and we just get in tons of value. Yeah, and we finish that off. Massive value. Like, this Doomfist pick, I don't want to say it's won the game for us, but it is like, it's, there's so much more value in this pick based on our playstyle, so maybe like when we look at heroes that we are playing maybe we shy away from the sombra a little bit because that's maybe not a hero that's suiting our playstyle. the doomfist is now when i look at your i think we're about to win well played but when i look at your message you sent in um it says that you're a lucio player and a lot of the time i'd say lucio is kind of like you know you're playing on the fringe right you're getting in there with lucio you kind of do the same thing with doomfist right i know it's not the same but like trying to compare playstyles, maybe it's a little bit more similar than say Sombra, but the Sombra play was really bad. Like if, if I was rating this to play, the Sombra would be like, needs a lot of work and that definitely is bronze. The Doomfist play, 
it's probably like, you know, high silver. That was pretty good. And the soldier probably around the same level, but it's just a consistency thing, I think. Just need to play more of the game. All right, guys, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm toying like with like content types um, with, with Overwatch at the moment. It's like, it's in a bit of a funk, the game is like, there's no like new stuff to cover. And like, I don't want to just keep making like, what I feel is the same video. Like, even though like the videos might do well, uh, sometimes it's a little bit more, um, it's a bit more like personal. Like it, I'm the person making these videos and like, you can kind of go a bit mad when you're just making the same thing over and over again. Like you almost need like a bit of um, like creative spark. And then you're like, oh yeah. And then you really enjoy making the videos. But yeah, this, I enjoy doing this. I'm just, you know, I'm going to see how well this does. And if it does okay, I think the last overanalyzed did okay. The way we use the, the, um, you know, sort of went, took it back to old school. This is kind of like more of a hybrid between old and new school. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see what you guys think about it. Remember though, guys, if you want to send in a video clip to appear on the series, then do go to unitloss.com forward slash overanalyzed. And thank you for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.